Hello subscribers, the review for today will be on the Collecte 2021 Elasmosaurus. Right here is my second most hyped Collecte prehistoric animal figure for this year, the first one being the Zyphactinus of course. I was excited for this one, not just because it's another prehistoric sea creature, but also because it looks like it could be the definitive Elasmosaurus. It's been quite some time since a company made an Elasmosaurus model. To my knowledge, the last time we got one was in 2013 by Safari LTD. That one was good, but I didn't like the colors, as it wasn't fitting for an open water animal. So I'm looking forward to see what this new plesiosaur has to offer. Let's take a look at the detailing first. Marine reptiles are known to have smooth skin, just like modern marine mammals, but Collecti decided to add some smooth lines across the body, just so it won't look super bland. They're all across the underside, and on top of course. Then you got the four large paddle-like flippers to help propel its heavy body throughout the water. Then the tail fluke. It actually looks more like an eel for some reason. Most depictions of marine reptile tail flukes look more like upside down shark tails. Then you got the neck, which is straight out and stiff like how they should be. Most older reconstructions of plesiosaurs uh, showed their necks were to be very flexible, something like a snake. But that's not the case. They were actually very inflexible due to the stiff muscles, ligaments, and vertebrae inside. And you got the skull, which looks pretty accurate, and then the teeth are held vertically inside the mouth. I gotta do my research on the Lasmosaurus again, because I don't know whether the teeth are held vertically inside the skull, or they're splayed out and interlocking. What I like about the neck on this figure is that it actually has more meat to it. Unlike their previous attempt at a plesiosaur, the deluxe Thalassomedon, you can see it's very skinny, especially around the jaw. Both are also made out of this very soft plastic, which improves their durability and flexibility. The paint job on this is phenomenal. On the bottom is a bright creamy white. On the top is a light gray with these silver spots, and then the tail fluke and the flippers are a pinkish red color, and on the flippers are this brown striping. It's interesting how Collecte made the flippers a different color from the rest of the body. It reminds me of snow crab meat, which I should pick some up at my local grocery store after I finish this review. The one thing I don't like about this coloration is this weird white arrow on the tip of its snout. It looks like someone put sunscreen on it. As cool as this paint job is, it's not fully accurate. A study on an ichthyosaur, a mosasaur, and a sea turtle showed that all marine reptiles, well at least the large ones, had countershading, which is a light color on the underbelly and a very dark color on the top to help them blend in with the ocean depths. This figure would have looked good with a black or dark blue coloration instead of the light gray. Not only would it have been more accurate, but it also would have contrasted nicely with the silver spots. This model has a pretty cool posture. It looks like it's swimming after a school of Encodus, probably the most active looking plesiosaur in my collection. It's time to start with our usual comparisons. So here's the new Elasmosaurus next to Collecte's previous plesiosaurus, the Hydrotherosaurus, the Dolly Kruenkops, and the Thalassomedon, or Thalassomedon, however you want to pronounce it. Just by looking at these two, you can see how much Collecte has improved over the years. Next, we have the Elasmosaurus next to three of Collecte's Pliosaurs, the Atenborosaurus and the Deluxe Pliosaurus and Chronosaurus. Next, here we have the Collecte Mosasaurus, which is considerably larger than the Elasmosaurus. Speaking of Mosasaurus, here's one of my favorite Mosasaur figures ever, the Safari LTD Tylosaurus. Let's bring in the Safari LTD Elasmosaurus. And out of the two, the Collecte one is the better one in my opinion. The Safari one is still good, it's just I do not like that unfitting color scheme. Here are two cephalopods, the Collecte Orthoceros and the Collecte Bellum Knight. Next up, we have the Collecte Deluxe Megalodon and Deluxe Dunkelosteus, two huge prehistoric fish figures. Speaking of fish, it's only a matter of time before the Collecte Zyphactinus finally becomes available on Minizoo. Last but not least, here is the Collecte Elasmosaurus next to the Collecte Mini Zyphactinus. Zyphactinus and Elasmosaurus did coexist together in the Western Interior Seaway. Well, there you have it guys, this was my review on the Collecte 2021 Elasmosaurus. I definitely recommend you guys picking this up, especially if you love prehistoric sea animals or if you just need a definitive plesiosaur in your collection. It's my new favorite plesiosaur and also one of my new favorite models from Collecte. If I had to give it a rating, I would say it gets a 10 out of 10. So if you guys enjoyed this review, hit that like and subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section of what you think of this new model.